All right, um, what I want to do is show you how to write an equation on a line that goes through a point negative 2, 2, but is perpendicular to a line that goes through the points 1, 3, and 4, 2. So the first thing we want to do is even remember what an equation of a line is, which we're going to write as y equals mx plus b. And this is what we call the slope intercept form, all right, where m represents our slope and b represents our y intercept. So what we have to do here is we have two points, and somehow we have to find a line from there, right? So I'm going to decide to use um, my point slope form. And this is what we call point slope form. What it means is you can plug in points to find the equation of the line. So when given two points, it's probably easiest a lot of times to use the point slope form, because what you can do is you understand that these two are just points, right? So what we can do is we can plug them in into this formula to solve for our m, which is our slope. So then we can plug our slope in there. And then uh, what we can also do is find our y-intercept. So let me show you what I want you to do. So here's what we call slope-intercept form. Here's what we call um, point slope form. You can actually use both forms to solve this problem. But I'm going to use this form to solve this equation of the line. And then I'm going to plug it into this equation. So first thing we need to do is find out our slope. So I'm going to label this x, y. And I'm going to label this x, y. But to distinguish between the two, I'm going to give these little subscripts 1. So what that's going to do is that's going to help me distinguish between which x's I'm talking about. Because if I say, hey, what's x? You guys might say 1. And you over there might say it's 4. So to distinguish between the two, I'm going to give this coordinate an x1 and y1. Um, so now when I plug them in, I get uh, 3 minus 2 equals m times 1 minus 4. All right, so then 3 minus 2 is 1 equals m times a negative 3. Divide by negative 3 on both sides. I get m equals a negative one-third. Okay? So therefore, now my slope is y equals a negative one-third x. Well, now I don't know what, um, I don't know what, the, um, what the y-intercept is. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to do this problem again, but I'm going to put m now, or negative one-third in for m, and I'm going to plug in one point. Now, it's best, just simply, it doesn't matter which point you pick, but it's easiest to pick the point y1, x1, or whatever your... Um, taking the difference of for both of those because I'll show you it's gonna be much easier because remember to put it into slope intercept form you want to solve for y so it's much easier to solve for this y than it is to solve for that y so let's rewrite this again so I have y minus y1 which will be 2 equals my new slope a negative one-third times x minus x1 which is 4 okay then what I can do is I can do distributive property. So y minus 2 equals a negative 1 third x uh, plus 4 thirds. So there, oh, shoot. And then I have to add a 2. Okay, now I can't add a 2 to this fraction um, unless I have it as the same denominator. So I'll write y equals a negative 1 third x plus 4 thirds. And then to represent 2 with the denominator 3, what I'll do is I'll multiply. That's the same thing. 2 is the same thing as um, plus a 6 over 3. Because 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, right? So therefore, that's going to give me 10 thirds. So y equals a negative 1 third x plus 10 thirds. And... Um, so now, so now we have that. Now what we have to do is it says write an equation on the line negative two comma two that goes through the point. So now I want to find a line that's going to be perpendicular to this. So one thing you need to remember about perpendicular lines is they have opposite slopes. That means if one slope is positive, the other slope has to be negative. So I'm going to have a negative. So since the slope is negative, now I'm going to have a positive slope. And the other thing you have to remember is perpendicular slopes are reciprocals of each other. So if this is one-third, my new slope is going to be 3 over 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write our new equation over here. So I'm going to write y equals the reciprocal of negative, opposite reciprocal of negative one-third is a positive 3 over 1 x. Now the only thing we don't know is what b is. So I'm going to write negative 3x plus b. 
So to do that, there's a couple methods we could use. Um, we could plug in, all right, so it has to go through this point. So we could plug in our point negative two, uh, comma two into this equation and then solve for b. We could also use our point slope form and plug this point in, um, in for your b. So what I am going to do is, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll do it both ways, actually. So let's do y minus y1 equals m, well actually not m anymore, because we know our new slope is 3 over 1, which is 3, times x minus x1. Now, we're kind of done with these two points. We're not using these anymore because those just gave us what our original line was, right? And actually, we didn't really need to find out the y-intercept because it doesn't matter what the y-intercept is. You just need to figure out what the slope was. Uh, but I like to do a little extra work. Why not? So we have our slope. Then what I can do is I'm going to want to plug these points in, and I'm going to let these represent x1 and y1. Again, y, you said those represent x1 and y1. We're done with this problem. We're done with this. We just needed this to find the slope of our, or the equation of the line. But now, again, like I said, I want to solve for y. So I'm going to plug, I want to solve for this y. So I'm going to let this be y1. So I have y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus a negative 2. y minus 2 equals 3x. Double negative makes it a positive. Plus 6. Add a 2 y equals 3x plus 8. If I wanted to do it this way, um, I'd plug these two problems in. I'd say y equals 3 times negative 2 plus b. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Add to 6. Therefore, 8 equals b. And again, we know that if I have 3x plus b, we know 8 equals b. So therefore, um, I can rewrite my new equation. So my new equation is y equals, with my slope, 3x plus my new b. Let's see. So that is how you find perpendicular. And I would tell you guys just one last time, you probably just could have, to make this easier, instead of like dealing with these fractions, which you didn't really have to, but like I said, I was kind of overlooking that and I wanted to make sure everybody knew what to do. Um, you don't need to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is really irrelevant here. All you need to do is determine what the slope is because then, you, once you have the slope, you can find the opposite reciprocal slope, and that's going to help you plug in this point to find the new equation.